Hello and welcome back to Alistair. Just gonna do a quick save there. Out we go. Well, we're outside, but now what? Uh, oh. That's right, before you came, Alan, I saw Teacher. He said not to go anywhere, but I broke my promise. Should we look for him? Well, I'm gonna turn that music down just a tiny bit. Sorry, that might. Oh yeah, that's actually because I have it turned all the way up. I would explain that. Super loud. Let's go to Grandma's house. Oh wait, can we pick a few flowers? Of course we can. Pick some of those flowers. Thanks. I love the flowers here. To tell the truth, I'm told not to pick them, but it's just a dream. So let's go to Grandma's. Straight ahead from here. This, by the way, the Tetris cat. I looked it up. He's just an achievement, and I'm terrible at Tetris, so it's never going to happen. Huh? No bridge. What now? We, we can't get to Grandma's. Oh, my head's spinning. The jam! Hello, Alice! And Alice! Don't stare too hard. <coughs> that voice is so bad for me. It's deadly, you know. Just kidding, don't freak. So you want to cross the river? I'll take you over. Not even kidding, but it ain't gonna be free. Hello? Just a little game. Love them, don't ya? As you can see, I have here a wolf, a sheep, and a cabbage. You want to row your boat? Use your imagination to get them all to the other shore. Except there are a couple of conditions. One! You can only carry one thing on the boat at a time. Two, if you leave the sheep alone with the cabbage, sheep will eat it. Three, leave the wolf alone with the sheep, the wolf will chow down. Those are the rules. Now, what's the minimum number of times you've got to row across? Talk to me when you got the answer. Get it bright, and I'll take you to the other shore. But yep, just like the rules of Alice Worlds, you only get three guesses. Mess up the third one, and it's a dead end, friend. Alrighty, get those gears turning. Now, I happen to know this one. I also happen to know that three gets me an achievement. <laughs> the minimum number of trips required are seven, my good sir. Woohoo! Correct you are. Alright, off on your way. Promise is a promise. Close your eyes. Looks like the other shore. Notice there's a scrap in your hand. Don't stray from the path, I warned myself. But I was sure Grandma would be glad if I could bring her some flowers, too. So I picked a flower or two. Then a man came by and asked if I knew a medicine maker. He must have met Grandma. I told him I was going there, too, so he should come with me. The man smiled and helped me pick flowers. Then we held hands and walked to Grandma's house. I don't hold hands with Father much, so it was sort of a new sensation. You're spacing out. What's wrong? It's right here, Grandma's house. Let's go. I wonder if Mother's okay. She's always been sick, but Grandma says that she'll get better. Someday, she won't wake up. And she won't talk with me ever again. When I think about that, I cry a lot. Father's all red. It's scary. Alan, is there someone you want to protect? I'm not sure. Oh. You lost your memories, huh, Alan? I didn't mean to... I'm sorry. Let's go. It's getting a little cold. It's kind of scary here. Don't touch that! Oh, sorry. What's the matter with me? I don't know. You scared the shit out of me, though. Alrighty. I'll go around the angry monsters. How do I get in the house, huh? It's locked. After we came so far? What now, Alan? Uh, I don't know. Uh, hello. Oh? And what do you want? <laughs> Door's locked, huh? That certainly is weird. See, that house doesn't even have a lock. <laughs> uh, well, there's a way, though. But you see, her squeakiness, me, currently wanting a flower. Practically can't live without it. Bring me one, would you? What kind of flower is it? My, my, what a tiny, weird voice you have. 
Oh, I'll only say it once, so listen up. When she's red, she's passionate. When she's white, she gives pure... XXXX. When she's blue, she's eternally devoted. But when she's yellow, she's deeply caught jealous. Ah, uh, but one last thing, she's very often mistaken for another. But unlike that other flower, she never hurts people. So don't make that mistake. Right, off you go. Bring me the wrong one and I'll have to eat you. There's a bunch here. I'll split them up for you. You brought her? Hurry up then! Her squeakness decrees it. Which one? Okay, let's... My first guess is carnation, because I've often mistaken those for roses, and roses have thorns which hurt, hurt people, but carnations don't. Um, I've never seen a pansy in multiple colors, I don't think. A tulip I usually only see in white. I'm just going to go carnation. You really brought her. I'm so glad. Finally, I can eat. Oh, she ate it. Very tasty. Truly the best of the best. I guess, yes, something to open the door. Here you are. Take an axe. Yeah, you keep it. It's too heavy for me. Kind of forceful, but this should work. You there, hold on a moment. Take this as well. Only for you. Royalty has no need of it. We reached Grandma's house, and Grandma waved to welcome me. Man bowed slightly, too. The medicine is in the usual place. I went to get Mother's medicine from the back room. Just then I heard a loud, loud sound. There, there I saw a... I saw a wolfy grandma. Then he stuffed a lot of medicine in a bag. Then he noticed me and started walking toward me. Red Riding Hood, huh? Valen, you're pretty amazing. Thank you! Good day! Deal with you in a moment. I want to take a look around first. Medicinal plants. Nothing in particular. Honey pots. Ooh, more. Cry, baby, cry, cry, baby, cry. Put your finger in your eye and tell your mother it wasn't I. Fucking hell. Nursery rhymes have always been strange. Okay! Add some memories. Maybe. I don't know what those are. I'm assuming they're memories. Be careful with that broken bottle. You're not hurt? Alright, that's good. Easy on. Get this key. Guess we didn't find teacher. Things are kind of weird here. It smells bad, too. Hey, how do you wake up from this dream? Let's see. That come from the other room? I, I don't wanna. I don't wanna move from this spot. Okay, but don't let go. Don't leave me, please. I'm not gonna abandon you. Relax. Get away from her, you bitch! Oh! You're not Grandma. Wake up, wake up. Right, it's just a dream. I don't wanna see it. Not again. I won't do it again. I mean it. Forgive me, forgive me. Here's the axe! I am the woodsman. Father. Red. The color red. I hate it. Stop. I close my eyes so I can't see. Hold my hand. It's in a notebook scrap. I can't look people in the eye. I'm scared to hold their hand. It makes me remember it. If only I hadn't picked those flowers and hadn't met him. And hadn't held his hand. Lots of blood came out. It smelled really bad. Teacher, I'm still a little scared, but I'm sort of okay. Teacher, I can't... St can't... The, the eyes, that color... Help me. Shit. Welcome back. I say with a smile, but I'm made quite uncomfortable by you, that face you're making. Ah well, at least you seem to have safely recovered the key. A job well done. Well then, I'll collect all the things from that world, and I'll put together those pages. Here you are. Now then, I'll open the door to the next world. I'm counting on you once more. Assuming the teacher is... the rabbit. Kind of would make more sense. Uh, I have so many shards. A notebook letty and a little Chelsea. I wasn't sure if I could use those or not. Ah, uh, Mr. Cat. <laughs> Let me clear my throat for this. Hang on. <coughs> 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 uh, 
Okay. 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 They say you just say what you want, but when you say anything bad, you got a knife at your throat. Eesh! So what am I supposed to say? Ah, uh, that's it. Saying nothing must be best. But won't I die of loneliness if I stop saying anything? Alright, maybe I'll just woof and meow like a dog or a cat. Pesky knowledge just dirties the heart. Don't even feel like faking, do ya? You look tired as hell again. Don't have to do with the don't with don't have to do what you don't wanna. Trying is the first step towards exhaustion. Or heck, maybe there's a reason to it. Not sure. Oh really? Well I'll see you next time. You trying to help the people in the worlds? I know Rabbit told you to, but you're guaranteed a bad end the second you go into their world. You still gonna keep going? Boy, you're just like him. He ever teach you that one? That's time. We'll talk later. So he knows who teacher is. That one's locked. Is it this one next? It is Joshua! Alrighty then. Next time on Alice Mare. Time to deal with Joshua. Yo, Alice. Nice weather, huh? You know what this calls for? You know? Let's play. Open up that closet. We'll open the closet next time. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.